Okay, in this video I'll show you how to use Zoom without downloading the program. It's a little bit tricky, um, but it can be done and you need to make an account. To start, your coach will have sent you an invite to a Zoom meeting uh, with him or her. Um, the, the invite can be sent by email or maybe your coach sent you a WhatsApp message or a text message. Um, the, they may have written something else than what you see on this screen here. But in general, there's two things that will be in this invite that the coach sends you. There will be a web link, which is going to be blue uh, letters and numbers with a line under it, underlined and in blue. That's this one here. That's the web address that takes you to the Zoom website. Somewhere in the, in the invite, there will also be a number. It's going to be in red. You can see it here. Um, it's like a phone number for the meeting, uh, so to speak. Um, you will need to remember this number. Uh, you can either write it down or you can make sure you know where to find it. So know where it is in your, your email or on your phone so you can look at it later. Okay, we start by clicking the link, which takes us to the Zoom website. The Zoom website will want us to download something, but if we don't want that, we'll probably have to click cancel uh, somewhere on the top um, or ignore that altogether. And we need to look for the very small letters at the bottom. So I'll click cancel here. It's, uh, it's, and we'll look for the very small letters on the bottom uh, where it says join, join from your browser. So it's all the way at the bottom in blue. We click on that or tap with your finger if you're on a phone or a tablet. Okay, then we get to another screen where it asks you to sign in. If you do not have an account, it means you have to make one. You can make an account by going to the orange button. There's an orange button on the top right. If you click that, it's going to ask you a few questions. It starts with your date of, date of birth. Uh, it's not hugely important to be accurate, but... Um, <clears throat> In the first box, you can tap it and you see a month. Uh, you can select the month you were uh, born. The next one will give you, can, you can select a day. And then finally, the year. Um, um, you just enter your birthday. If you're not sure, it doesn't really matter if you enter something wrong here, as long as you enter something. Uh, once you've entered your date of birth, you click continue, the blue button next to it. It then asks you for your email address. Um, if you don't have one, maybe your coach can give you an email address to enter. If you do have one, you can just type your email address here. Um, I'll, I've typed my email and I'll click sign up, which is the blue button underneath. It now gives you a message. Uh, you can click confirm the uh, orange button if you want, and they'll send you a newsletter once in a while. <clears throat> now, now, Zoom says that it sent you an email, and they want you to confirm by looking at that email. So you're going to have to go back to your email box, uh, or if you if you weren't there yet, you have to log into your email. So, however, no, you normally go and check your email. So you go to check your email like normal, and there should be an email there from Zoom. It's a new email that they just sent to you. The email should look something like this. Uh, it has a button uh, that you can click, and then uh, uh, some blue letters underneath you can click. It's the same. I'll click on this button. It says activate account. Once I've clicked this, uh, it's going to ask me some more questions. It says, are you signing up on behalf of a school? You can just click no, the one on the right here, and continue. The screen where it asks you yet, <coughs> where it asks you yet more questions uh, about you and your account. So it starts by asking for your name, your first name, your last name, and then the password. So for first name, I'll just type my first name, and then the next box. Here you type your last name. It's not very important that this is accurate. If you make a misspelling, that's not a huge problem. 
Then the last two boxes here and here is for a password. Now, you need to think of a password that has at least uh, seven letters and one number, and it must have a capital letter. It can be anything. You just need to make sure you remember it. Um, so I'll put something in and I'll make sure that I know what it is. Once you do it, once you type in this password, you can see all this, these letters beneath it or all these sentences beneath it turn green. It means your password is good. And then you have to type the same password again. So. So once you've typed the same password twice, so again, it needs to be seven letters and a number, and it needs to have at least one capital letter. Once you've, you're happy with your passwords, you typed, it in, you, you typed it in twice, the same password twice, you click continue, the orange button here at the bottom. Here it's asking you to invite your friends. Um, you don't need to do that. So you can just click skip this step. That's the, the white button, button with the gray letters in the right bottom right here. If you click that, it will ask you one final meeting. It says start your test meeting. Um, if you really want to try to have a test meeting, you can press the orange button. I think it's not really necessary because you're probably wanting to meet your coach. So you can just click this white button again. It says go to my account. There you go. Now you have a Zoom account. Now we're going to join the meeting with your coach. Uh, but to do so, you need to remember that number that was in the invite that the coach sent you. Uh, remember all the way at the beginning of the video, I said there was a, a number in the invite. I'll show you again. Here's the invite. In this case, it's in red numbers. Uh, if you've got an email or a WhatsApp message from your coach, um, the, they might have it colored in red. Uh, maybe if it's if they send it to you in another way, in a text message, the number might not be red, but there should be a number in their invite. It's about 10 or 11 numbers. Here it looks like a phone number. It's very much like a phone number, but to use with Zoom. Okay, you need to remember this number or you can copy it uh, or you can write it down on a piece of paper. Um, because when we're in Zoom and we have our account, we can click join a meeting. Um, you see on the on the top right, there's three little phrases. It says schedule a meeting, join a meeting or host a meeting. You want to join one. So it's the middle one, the middle one of the blue phrases. And it's going to ask you for that number that the coach gave you in the invite. So I'll enter this number. Your number will be different. So you need to look at the number that the coach gave you. You enter the number and you click join. At this point, it might ask you to download something again. You can click cancel if you want. And you can again click on the small letters where it says join from our browser at the bottom. Ah, it's asking now uh, to that they're updating their policies and whether you agree. Um, you can just click the blue button. In general, when you click a blue button, it means continue or going on. Uh, there you go. It's asking for your name. It probably has it filled out already. Um, you can fill something in if you want. But oh, And there we are. It's now asking you to join with your audio from your phone or your computer. So again, press a blue button. Um, and when you do, your internet browser might ask you to let it use your microphone. So there might be a white box or a gray box in the top of your screen uh, that says block or allow, and we need to click allow on the right. There you go. Now we should be in Zoom. And this is the place where your coach will meet you and they should be able to help you from here on.